Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the news update that came out yesterday and the World Tournament that's currently available. Uh, and we're probably going to touch upon a couple other things about data downloads. Uh, about the data download. Anyway, so first things first, World Tournament has started. I am definitely going to be taking place in this World Tournament. I am going to be gunning for the local rewards because I want this TN. Now first place in the rewards gives you 2 TN and 40 Master Mark medals. Um, you're going to need to go ahead and grab these in order to get this boy, uh, this bad boy, Doken Awaken. Uh, he's going to cost 7 medals to Doken Awaken to his TUR form. Um, honestly, he's not the best unit in game, but he does do well on a World Tournament team. So that way you get additional drops from the Hercule event. Um, this one is going to require 70 medals to Doken Awaken, like the Piccolo. Same thing as the Piccolo. Then you get him finally to LR. This is equivalent, by the way, if you guys aren't uh, familiar, this is the equivalent of the LR Piccolo. LR Piccolo has been replaced with TN. Now LR Piccolo is available for summon. In the, in the actual summons for um, for the characters. So that's awesome. So this one is Tien and Xiao Tzu. Honestly, they're not going to have that much viability in game uh, in terms of who, who you're going to be able to link with them and what teams you're going to actually run them on. He's not horrible. Um, colossal, mega colossal damage. Uh, his passive skill is attack plus 10,000 keys, 8 or more, defense plus 10,000 when keys, 11 or more, uh, attack and defense plus an additional 10,000 when keys, 14 or more. So he's a flat-out buff unit, which isn't, which it really isn't that great. Uh, his link skills lack, lacking a lot. Uh, Z Fighters, Crane School, Dodon Ray, Master and Pupil, uh, Shocking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power, the only three common ones. And honestly, uh, Shattering the Limit is hit or miss, Shocking Speed is pretty decent, and Legendary Power doesn't do that much, it's only attack plus 5,000. So unless you have like a Z Fighter link, he's really not going to be that fantastic for you. But overall, he's still he's a free LR. He's great for collective purposes. He's good for running on a couple teams. So uh, yeah, he is available. We could actually go over here. Let's go open up the wiki real quick, and um, I will look him up for us. So um, oh, actually, he's right here. Perfect. So let's go take a look at his categories. I think he's only on the uh, he's only on the World Tournament team. So you're never going to really run him. Uh, he's good to have on the World Tournament team if you have the LR Hercule, Goten and Trunks and well obviously him because then you're going to get additional drops from the Hercule event. That's the only thing I really want him for uh, other than collective purposes. By the way, the World Tournament runs uh, until 8:26 at 11 p.m. So that is actually only 2 days. It ends on Sunday night. Which is actually interesting. They usually don't do a um, a very short World Tournament like that. I mean, it started last night uh, 823, and it's going to run until the 26th. It's a three-day world tournament, but it's kind of worth it. Uh, ranking rewards, if you get first place, you get the new hit, which I didn't really go over him yet. I will probably be doing that tomorrow, uh, just because I want to make sure I have some time to actually do my own things this morning. Uh, but he's not horrible either. He's not great, but he's not horrible. When he gets a Doken Waking, I feel like he's going to be a lot better. He's an agility-type leader, key plus 2, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, supreme damage, medium chance to stun, attack and defense plus 60%. When performing a super attack, medium chance to stun the attacked enemy as the first attacker in turn. So you got to run him in first place. But overall, not bad. I will be running for the World Tournament for at least the TN. Uh, if I get hit, I'll be happy. Also, I think the rewards go up to the 20,000th place now. Yeah, you can get into the top 20,000 now and actually get the cards. So you have a higher chance of getting it. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to try and shoot for uh, the top 5,000. You get three hits, top left, bottom right, two path. That's kind of what I always try to do. Because I always want the top left, bottom right, just in case you become really good. Um, and if you go to the next one, on the, under 2,000, you get four. But anyway, that's for the World Tournament. I don't want to stick too much on that. I'll have its own separate video. By the way, also shout out to the wiki, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to dbz.space for all the information where I'm grabbing this from. Um, we did get the data download. There's a whole bunch of awesome stuff that came along with it. Um, we're going to talk about some of it here. First things first, with the Purunga Dragon Ball campaign did start. Uh, the first ability to get your wish is available. I believe it was training using a training location. It's either using a training location or Z Awakening character. I'm pretty sure it was training. Um, so go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a separate video. I didn't do it last time, but I'll definitely start doing that in a separate video. When we get this, it looks like we have five tickets for the actual campaign. Um, I'm not going to go that. I'm not going to recommend doing that one. What I'm going to say is what I, what I did with the last ones. Go for the uh, Grand Elder Kai's, go for the Hidden Potential, and go for the Baba Treasures. Those are the three that are probably going to be worth it the most to you. Um, outside of that, I mean, Awakening Medals you can buy from Baba Shop with, with points. Those are easily farmable for free-to-play cards. You don't need to grind out Zenny. You can get Zenny very easily, so you can go ahead and just grab, grab that regularly. Um, and, I mean, the tickets are going to be awesome and whatnot, but there's no guarantee. Unless these are GSSR, which has not been confirmed. At least I can't see anything about that. Um, if those are GSSR, that might be a little bit better. But if I don't think they're GSSR, so don't, don't do that at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so those are the, those are the wishes. Uh, that's what I'm going to recommend. 
Uh, looks like we have the new animations that are were made available. If you guys haven't summoned, you go check it out on the friend summon. If you have any points left over for you know hunting down that um, uh, those the great same man and great same man one and two, we do have the new animations. They're they're all right. I mean, uh, everyone was very very hyped about them. They're just kind of like eh, it takes a little bit longer to do a summon, I believe now. Uh, but it's cool because they're changing it up a little bit more, so that's all right. Um, it also looks like we the the LRs now when you summon an LR, it actually says. LR on it, which is awesome. By the way, I did want to let you guys know, um, I did a toilet summon earlier today, and uh, I ended up getting LR Bojack, so I was very, very happy about that. Unfortunately, I really want uh, Goku Black. I really need him for Super Battle Road. I can't freaking beat him, so uh, or beat that event, so I really want him to do it, because once you get him to LR, that HP regeneration comes in very, very handy. Plus, he's an LR. When he's maxed out and everything, he just becomes a tank. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that. But uh, yeah, so him and Trunks are actually the only two that I'm missing out of all the summonable LRs that are currently available. And no, it's not just whale status. I mean, whale status was for like Broly, but he had his own featured banner. And Gohan, who had his featured banner, but I think, uh, oh no, it wasn't featured, but I did go hard for him. The rest of these guys were just pure luck. Literally just pure luck. All right. So uh, yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm, I was pretty happy about that, that I pulled him. Um, looks like the diamond background was added to some LRs now. Um, they, there's just some pictures of the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, the the agility one, not the agility, the technique Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Wrath of the Dragon one, and uh, Vegito Blue. Uh, I didn't know that they didn't have the diamond background, but that just shows how much I pay attention to the actual card art. Uh, I usually just look at the uh, design of the person, not the actual background. That's awesome. Uh, you can also now sell multiple items and Baba multiple items. It says here 999. I will show you uh, what I'm talking about because I'm going to switch over to the game to show you some of the features. We did get the friend system update for some reason. No one actually talked about that on any of the Reddit posts, at least that I found because I do JP official store. Or I do uh, flare official in my search. So no one put an, uh, an official flare in for it. So that is there. And holy crap, does it make life so much easier. I was able to run a Super Saiyan 3 team again. Oh my God, it was awesome. Uh, Doken Awakening screen. Oh, never mind. It, it was available. I guess I just didn't see it. Oh, no, this is the Doken Awakening screen. So, this is for the Doken Awakenings. If you want to go see what Doken Awakenings are available, you can actually click on the cards. It shows you in yellow which ones you actually have. So, that's pretty awesome. I don't know what's going on. He's glitching out. See, like, you have the Great Saiyan Doken Awakening. You saw the yellow there. Um, I don't know what's going on. Why is this, like... There you go. See? Great Saiyan was in yellow. That means the yellow was done. So, that, that's pretty awesome. I, I do like that. I like that, uh, the ability to have that available. I just wish it would just stick in the place that I want it to. There we go. It's like burger was on its yellow. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'll show you that on mine, on mine as well. Um, our transformations that have been leaked so far. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to show this in this video. I'm going to do its own separate upload probably later on today because I don't need to actually be here for it. I just won't do any voiceover. I'll just upload the video itself. Uh, we do have the leaks for the Doken Awakening or the, the actual transformations of the units. This is Frieza. This is Goku. These are just their two separate cards. Uh, this is Piccolo. Uh, this is Piccolo with Nail. Um, I guess that's uh, one of his Shockwave attacks. Uh, that's Goten Trunks and Marin. I don't know what the heck that actually is. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be its own card. That's interesting. Um, it's just like the kid, so it might just be something like a special card. Uh, that's Goku. This is the transformation Goku card art. This is him in his base form when he transforms to Super Saiyan. <clears throat> when he transforms to Super Saiyan 2 with the lightning and everything. Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. How awesome it is. I did watch the video. The video is freaking fantastic. Then you have Frieza first form in his, um, in his little pod. Uh, it looks like he. Uh, I don't. I don't know if this is a separate card. Actually, I don't know if that's a separate card or if maybe that that's him and then this is him. Doken awakened, so that might be the case. Then you get the Frieza, his second form. His second form is freaking really badass looking. I love it. Uh, his Xenomorph form, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, his final form and then his golden form. So you have a whole bunch of that there. Again, I will post it up. Uh, I forgot who who was this. Let's see. Um, someone had posted this on their Reddit, and this is where all the information came from. Kawaii, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's over here, but I'm not going to do that right now. This is also different Goku card, Goku and Frieza. I guess this is the Goku slash Frieza cards that are also coming out that are going to be available, which are pretty cool. Um, this is the Jiren and the Goku Black card. Um, again, I don't know about any of this card and the card. I just know this is a whole, whole bunch of leaks. And this is the LR Goku and Frieza card that we've been hearing about. I don't know. I know I haven't talked about a video on it. This is because half the people are saying it's fake. The other half the people are saying it wasn't. I didn't want to cover it unless it was real. And apparently it is real. And so this is the Goku and Frieza LR card that are coming together. It's when they went together against Jiren, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, five more days to go, by the way, until the 250 million download comes when we should be getting our tickets. So I'm super hyped for that. 
Um, I'll definitely be doing a live stream. Uh, the leader bill and everything that's been released, I, I can't really read French, so I'm not going to go into this right now. I know there are some translations down over here, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a separate video because I think it warrants their own separate video, especially because I have not gone and um, talked, gone, gone in game yet, and I'm already at, what, 10 minutes in the video? Um, this is everything else that's available from Imager about all the uh, new card art stuff, so uh, we're not going to talk about that. But let's go ahead over here and uh, switch over to my Dokkan Battle account thing. Uh, so this is the actual Dokkan Battle recorder that I have uh, set up for this. That's why you have seen nothing on the right-hand side of the screen. <clears throat> but uh, let's go over here into the friends, and let's go into, like, actually searching for a friend in the event. I'm not going to actually play an event. I'm just going to show you what it looks like, just in case you guys are uh, new to this. So let's just, oh, I, I should not be going in here. Um, I should probably be going into, yeah, let's go into this event because it'll make it easier to bring whoever I want. Bottom right, we have a filter option, right? Here's where you search for who's available. So like I go over here now, it may not show uh, ever the leaders that I want, but you could at least narrow down your search a ridiculous amount. There we go, look at that. There's Super Saiyan 3s. This is nothing but Super Saiyan 3s and there's one Super Saiyan 3 friend available. I go over here to the filter, I can switch it down to intelligence only, that way I find my Bardock. If there's no Bardock, it means no one it's found for you so far has a Bardock available. You still are kind of SOL, but you at least don't have to go and search refresh, 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 refresh. I mean, you could go over here and just keep on hitting update. Just remember that it's only going to refresh so much as how many uh, pages that there actually are. So uh, you can go over here and I can switch it over to Ginyu Force, let's see who has a Ginyu Force led team. Uh, there's a couple people with Ginyu Force on there. Um, there's actually one, I think it's Resurrected Warriors will do, and Strength, because that's the Broly leader. And there you go. Now, that's the Broly. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a whole bunch of Broly leaders, because the World Tournament's going on right now, but yeah, that's that. Uh, World Tournament's over here on the left-hand side. I have not started it yet. I'm not going to start it on camera. I'm going to start it later on today. Um, so that's awesome. If you want to go into the Baba Shop, I'll just show you really quick. Um, oh, actually, look, there we go. Let me buy some of this stuff, because I have not bought any of this yet uh i don't buy any of the uh, tens anymore like these guys actually i should buy the popos because i need the popos uh just not the shens because i, I ran uh, i had too many of them uh so we'll go into here we can go into you know let's do awakening metals because i have a whole bunch of um fruit of the tree and mites that we can get rid of now so actually this makes grinding out the fruit of the tree and might event so much easier you can just go in here look at that look at that i want to get rid of uh, 300 of them Boom, look at that. And look at all the Baba points I get. 3,600 Baba points just from doing that. Now, you can do that here. I can switch this over to characters if I wanted to. And just like, um, usually you could only do 10. Now, I'm not going to do this. But see, there's only a check mark there. It shows you here. You could do 90, up to 99 characters uh, at once. So, that makes the friend summon stuff a lot easier to do. Because now you don't have to worry um, about only doing 10 at a time. Let me tell you, when I, before that came out, I was actually doing 10 at a time looking for the uh, Great Sandman 1 and 2. Then I just put it off because I knew we were going to get them. Well, actually, I got them Super Attack 10 with 4 Pass, but then I put it off because the rest of them, uh, the rest of the Super Attack 10 that I need to grind out. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Oh, one thing I did want to talk about, there is the new World Tournament Pack that is currently available. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. The, the stuff in here is cool. 5 Dragon Stones, 10 Sensu Beans, 10 Dendes. Ghost Ushers are very useful. King Yemas are very useful. Babas are very useful. Uh, key Orb Manipulators, uh, the Fruit of the Tree and Might, and Trade Points. All of them very, very useful. Don't get it. It's not worth it. Not worth the $10. Trust me. All that stuff's grindable, farmable. Unless you are, like, really, really hurting and really want to take place in the World Tournament, I don't think it's a worth, worth your money. Um, just hold off. But again, that's just my, my recommendation for you. Um, <clears throat> I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll do a friend summon real quick, just so I could show off the um, new new summon animation in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I'll put it on screen. Um, it usually is, it's just Goku flying into this thing that's coming. Wow, look at all four of them. We had Ultimate Gohan, you had Majin Buu in there and everything. Um, sometimes they will go Super Vegito Blue, sometimes they'll go Super Vegito, sometimes he will go Super Saiyan God um, in, in the animation, so they'll change up. So, uh, it's pretty cool, and then that's it. I mean, nothing else, everything else is pretty much the same. The only difference is, like, if I pulled the Great Saiyan Man 1 or 2, which I kind of wish I did in this video, it would show the, uh, LR status, a little LR would pop up, and, uh, you would be able to, uh, you know, know that they're an actual LR. But, uh, that's not the case right now. I can't show you that. But that's what's going on, so there you go. That's everything, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's everything else that has come up so far. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I've missed. Uh, I know there's a couple of the, the units and everything I want to talk about, but I'm not going to be doing that today just because this is just a news update video. Uh, I will probably be putting off the, J the JP Weekly Grind until next week. Um, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, but we'll have to see. There's so much to talk about. I still have to do a lot of team building guides and whatnot, and I have to talk about all the new characters. There's stuff from the last day to download before yesterday's day to download. I haven't even covered on video yet, but um, I'll definitely get into that. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace.